Hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, we're gonna take a deep dive. So let's get right into it, shall we? If you're new here, my name's Patricia, located in Chicago, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about your light body and ancestral patterns, okay? Now, sometimes people call this generational patterns also. The term is almost interchangeable. So some of this stuff runs really deep because your ancestry goes actually way back to points of origin, but it doesn't always feel that way. You sometimes feel like this can be traced to a grandparent or a closer relative, but it can actually, your DNA goes through your lineage. All of us are sort of interwoven to an extent. We've also shared things like breastfed each other's babies and um, helped each other with blood and organs. And that might sound gross to some people, but that's just more examples of DNA that is trying to match and be healthy and whole. So you have your spiritual DNA, you have your physical DNA, and yet your body can remember some of these ancestral patterns generational patterns, and as some people might call it, generational curses. You're probably the leader in your family if you have been activated or awakened. If you're aware of being on a journey, you're it. So let's see what does this involve. So this gets deep. This involves connections to land. What is the land or point of origin? Where did your people originate from? Where have they been from? Where do they feel their loyalties are to? Where have they fought many wars and died and literally shed their blood? Not pretty, and it's deep, okay? Some people feel more loyalty to a different place, and that may be your true point, and yet, where are you living right now? And how do you find the balance to rid yourself of this so that you can level up and live harmoniously? How can you, you know, overcome this stuff? Because sometimes it's like you can't overcome going over a waterfall. Okay, you're going to get caught up in the momentum and tumble down with it. Your light body is the way that you get out of this. Earth is your proving ground. It is your stomping ground, is your healing ground. It is the ground level base for doing these things at the molecular level where the ancestral patterns are, okay? Ancestral patterns can include tendencies towards things. Like, do you have a tendency towards a certain type of cancer or illness in your family? Sometimes by now people know this. In previous generations, nobody had x-rays or MRI scans or anything like that. I'm a medical intuitive, and part of my medical intuition is able to tell what is a person literally taking the high road and actually preventing the onset or early onset of some of these ancestral patterns, okay? It's not a tricky thing. The key is to work with the light body. Patriotism, okay, where do the loyalties lie? Do you feel like a patriot? Do you feel like um, you owe something? This also can go back generations. You can see this many times in masculine people where they feel that they have to put their country above all else. They have to put their duty they have to put their military service above all else. And many times you're helping your other half break away from these old military lives, these old patterns in the ancestry, even things as simple as, well, every third son, they go into the military. The first son's the heir, the second one, or if you take some families, one goes into the priesthood, one goes into the military, one is merchant. They have their roles to play. We want to break these roles and the patterns that are there. Now, you may find these topics highly interesting in terms of the scope of this, that how could you expediently crush thousands of years of patterns in a very limited short amount of time? It is possible because 
of the integration of your brand new body. And it gets better too. Loyalties, migrations. Okay, this is where a lot of people have, they've gone from place to place and they've had to. It's quite that simple. They've had to. They've run out of resources or there was a terrible thing that happened. Like, and you know what? It leaves a mark. It leaves scars. It scars the psyche. It leaves ancestral patterns. For example, a lot of people may not understand, for example, if you take Aboriginal peoples or Native peoples, why would they consume so many things like in, in one setting? Why can't they store it? There was no storage. And many times there was such a cataclysm that if you didn't consume it or take, be able to take it with you and you couldn't, it just, it just ran out and got spoiled. And so it just gets consumed in one sitting. Now, if you translate that to, you know, something that really isn't healthy and people are almost obsessive about it, that's a pattern that is so deep it needs to break. It's from somewhere in history. And this isn't a history lesson. Believe me, you would not want to relive some of these things, but yet you might get a little sprinkling of it. You might get a little taste here and there of what is it that you are able to um, get rid of expediently, efficiently, so that you can, okay? Now, how this, these things affect your cosmic connections. You have cosmic connections that you might be aware of and maybe are not aware of, but yet they're there. They're there usually in your solar plexus. Your solar plexus manages things like your endocrines, your hormones, endocrine organs, and much more. Okay, it is a part of your foundation. So these are also connections that need to be healthy and they need to be rid of these ancestral patterns. Now let's talk about something that people call ancestral curses. Okay, and some people feel like it's the bane of their existence. I'm the one, I'm the black sheep. Um, I'm the one in the family who always has to do the things and get rid of this and do the work. And maybe you're not really doing the work so that it benefits the other members of your family and benefits you past, present, and future for any of the future progeny, which means children. That means nieces, nephews, children, um, children of your heart, children that you might meet or help or teach. And curses actually... I want to get away from a lot of the superstition and the fear, even though I'm using the word curse. Can we swap in dysfunctions? Okay. Ancestral dysfunctions. Could that be stomach cancer, colon cancer? Do these run in the family? Lung cancer? Yes. What are your, why were you cursed? Well, sometimes you're not cursed. You are cursed with an overuse and abuse of certain substances. These things, these dysfunctions affect your metabolism. How do you digest? How do you assimilate? Assimilate the nutrients that are necessary. Maybe your ancestors couldn't. So when I say this is deep, this is organ deep. This is organic. This is the true meaning of organic healing. Metabolism, the peripheral and central nervous system. Do you know the peripheral nervous system affects things like Lou Gehrig's disease, things like the um, Bell's palsy, things that have to do with neuropathy of the nerves. You can't sense, feel, or heal. And yet when you do this work and your light body is bridging for you, suddenly you can, suddenly you can get rid of the root cause of some of these things. Okay, not everything's going to happen at once. OK, wish I could wave a magic wand, but you have to roll up your sleeves and put skin in the game and be proactive. Other chronic conditions, chronic conditions could be your pre-diabetic. In fact, there is a lot of patch of people. There's a whole like, let's say, bucket of people that are going through pre-diabetic conditions without even realizing it. How do you know? Sugar cravings, salt cravings. Things that make you feel like you're super thirsty, you're urinating a lot, your kidneys are kind of wobbly in their function, you're having mild heart issues such as blood pressure, 
Um, you might have additional phlegm. You might have acid reflux. These are all little telltale signs of these conditions, chronic conditions. And I've been right in there with you because when I go through it, not only is it my ancestry, I'm a prototyper. I write it down, how to get out of it, and I lead people in this in a webinar. Webinar, session, tutorials, okay? Chronic conditions and why are we keeping on seeing people with chronic autoimmune issues, okay? Now, what the medical community does with this, and this is not a bad thing, but they notice all these like symptoms and they lump it together and they call it a syndrome. But many times it is something that can be considered an autoimmune condition, okay? Autoimmune illness, autoimmune disease, autoimmune condition. Why would your own body seem like it's attacking itself? Well, if your twin is up to no good, guess what? That's part of the answer right there. The other part is it's up to you to swap in your brand new light body and begin the integration, reconnect, and get rid of these things so that your immune system builds up. It's not just the immune system though. If you have a condition, you literally have to build up the tissues so that they're anchored to the foundation inside, outside, and above you. And that means having healthy tissue. Tissue growth can take up to a month, okay? If you're talking about resheathing the myelin sheathing on the nerves for neuropathy, that can take up to six months. And I know this because I lived through it. I had forms of neuropathy. I had a mild form of certain things that I'm talking about here. I've had allergies, I've had asthma, I've had breathing issues. I used to breathe secondhand smoke. You don't even wanna know how long that took to get all of that gunk out, where I could literally feel the little grape bunches inside my lungs that were filled with stuff and getting it out and doing it night after night after night until I had alleviated it and the tissues could then be fresh and new and clean and just where they need to be for anchoring and reconnecting. So I know these might be kind of tough subjects. So here's what I wanna tell you, okay? If any of this even clicks, join my webinar. We talk about it and I just lead you through in an easy way to just use your light body. This is not a science class, it's not a biology class. Do we use biology? Yes. Do we use nutrition? Yes. Do I teach you how to juice? Yes, I do. Do I teach you how to eat? Do I teach you what it means? Yes, I do. And you can join our live question and answer session, get live intuitive answers. And it's a lot of fun. It's a safe space. People have made friends there. Um, they get to know people. And the mostly, you don't feel so alone. Now, a lot of people just get angry and they just say, well, if only that jerk would show up, whether the jerk is female or male, if only that jerk would show up, I could heal this. Yes, that would be lovely to just kiss in bed and heal this stuff. But for a lot of people, it's just not that way, but you can still do it. So I hope that you come and join. Please join, reach out to me with your questions. And much of this has a lot to do with how I discovered my four zone healing modality. Four, make it easy, make it simple, learn what manages what, how to do it, and then you simply maintain. Beautiful, so that you can love and live another day. Bye now.